What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of Down South Off Road and Outdoor. Man, it feels good to be doing this again. Does it? It does. Kind of does. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad at it. So anyway, guys, we are going to be doing a quick little review. We are starting to really get prepared for our big trip out west coming at the end of August. Yes. We'll be doing Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, 16 days. We'll be kicking off at Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. Yes. So if you want to say hi, we're going to be at Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion on Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Friday and Saturday. So anyway, guys, so what we're doing now is we're really trying to button up how we're going to pack, what we're going to pack. And one of the things that... Uh, we have that's pretty large is my big boy chair. It takes up a lot of space. So we've got some new camping chairs today from Kilos Gear. Um, they're super making waves on Instagram. So we wanted to see what they were about. So if you're looking for a new chair that's in a small form factor, stay tuned. All right, just in case you guys are new to the channel, I wanted to show you our current new overlanding setup, our new platform. Yeah, that, that rear door is a little heavy, a little heavy. It's got our rotor packs, all those things. So this is where we sleep. There will be a, a six inch memory foam mattress in there. And so our current chairs right now, Kim's is pretty small. That's what turned us on to this Kilos gear because I think it's gonna be in the same. But look at mine, that's the Kong chair. It supports up to 600 pounds. And so you see how big that is. So what we're trying to do is trying to find something because this is our garage space. So we're trying to find something that doesn't take up as much room as my big boy chair. All right, babe, you ready to review some chairs? So not only chairs, we didn't just get chairs. You can see how they're packaged. We opened this one because we didn't know what it was, but we also have footstools and I think that's what those are. So those are gonna be the footstools and so when you get these things, they're not branded or anything, so you don't know that it's coming from Kilos Gear. Um, that's why I mistakenly opened one up because we don't like to open the product until you guys see us open the product so that you're seeing all of our failures and flaws right off the bat. So babe, right off the bat, I can see that's about the same footprint as your chair. So, so real quick, there is some measurements here, um, 35 inches long, 18 and a, well, basically 19 inches wide, and then 37 inches high. I do know I've stayed away from small chairs like this in the past because they don't support me. If you don't know, I'm almost 300 pounds, six foot one. So this one is supposed to support 300 pounds. So if you see me fall and die, we'll know that it didn't stand up to its current weight measurement. Headrest. Looks kind of like your headrest, right? So what's gonna be different about this guy is it has arm, arms. Cause I can't be sitting without arms and without cup holders. Oh, and it looks like it has disc on the feet. So that is something that is already different than Kim's. Um, the disc on the feet will keep it from sinking. sinking into the mud. Yeah, this looks a little sturdier, doesn't it? Yeah, all the parts are different. More sturdy. So it's just like a big transformer. Nice. That was, uh, that was pretty cool. Is that an extra end or one? An extra one. We're not missing one? Nope. Hey, and they give you an extra foot, guys. So that's pretty cool. All right, so looks like Let's see what we got little here. tabs here for the top. Nice. And, and that looks pretty like reinforced as well. And so you can see it's not just fabric. It's actually got like a rubber reinforcement in there. So... There's that branding on the back. And I like that it's got a mesh back because my chair doesn't have a mesh back and I'm like sweating. I wish I would have started the timer, babe. 
to see how long this takes. But, so do you know which one of those you're taking it to? I'm thinking the center. So guys, as you can see, we didn't read any instructions. Um, we didn't watch any videos. We're just uh, winging it. And you're welcome for these awesome angles, guys. No bandanas were harmed in the making of this video. So it looks like it's going to be better if you take it out. Put it in. And you got to make sure this angle's up. Oh, so the, it's got a little bend in it, and so you... Um, Correct. Are we sure that's the right way to do it? All right, now, how do those armrests go on? Um. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe it slid over the back. So I bet it slides down this corner and then this one attaches here. All right, so I guarantee you undo this top, slide the middle around that pole. Make sure your cup holder's facing the right way. Nice. That's not bad at all. Yeah. yeah. Not bad at all. And then we've still got, so we've got the armrests. Oh, it's got a little pull tab to help pull off. Mm -hmm. So guys, when you're putting this thing together, put your armrests on first. Okay. And again, make sure you have your uh, your cup holder facing the right way. And again, that's probably not the way you should do it, guys, but this is how we're doing it. <laughs> do you need help? I think this needs to be turned up. I got it turned, and so now it's not going to be right. See how it's supposed to be angled. Oh yeah, that's been, that's wrong. So you gotta take that armrest back off. Yep. So, had we read instructions, we could have probably set this thing up in what about sixty seconds. Yeah. I just want to hear you talk about what it feels like to sit in it versus the cheap knockoff that we have. So see now that book was real easy once you got the angle right. Yeah, I got you. Bring it over into the shade because there's no point in us sitting out here in the sun. Because I'm dying. All right. All right, so let's get the Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about foot stools. So, super fast. I love that this one has arms. I don't know if you've seen a lot of these guys, but um, hey, how does that go on? So this is Velcro. Ah, I got you. And optional, because there is a little bit of a cushion there. So you don't have to put it on if you mm -hmm. don't want to. You didn't, you didn't put that in the right place, but okay. There's two Velcro. Oh, there's two. I guess depending on your height. Yeah. So that's if you're a little shorter and you want it at the... And this is the optional footstool. I don't think you have to get the footstools. We were just like, well, let's, oh, separately. let's try it. And I think this thing attaches to your chair. So it attaches here. So you'll see two ends that don't have anything on them, guys. And I just use my best judgment. And I think this clippy clips to your center bar on your chair underneath. Well, how freaking cute is that? All right, here we go. Here we go. 
Good. Fantastic. Bad. So you're a fan? Thing popped off. What thing? Oh, your little. Oh, you didn't have it in the. Yeah, so I'm super short, and the footstool is still kind of. Short for you? Yeah, well, maybe this extends. Oh, oh holy. I didn't there. get that. Do that again because <laughs> I was actually looking at your boobs, I think. So the footstool extends, guys. That is freaking awesome. Yeah, because at first I was like, that's, that's just lame. Yeah, that's. Oh, good. that is crazy. Yeah, that's way good. Way better. So still have pockets here on the side. Be terrible. Oh, so it's got so it's got a phone pocket and cup holders. Yep. What? Yeah, this is way more comfortable than that other chair. You know, Miss Rocks. It's super cozy. So let's see. All right. I'm short, so let's see how much further we can. So that's, just, that's as far as it goes right there. All right. Now, do we want to see it with 300 pounds in it? Yes. All right, stay tuned, YouTube. I don't know why I'm nervous. I'll just tell you, I break every chair that I think I've sit in for the last five years. So, oh man, I'm nervous. Oh, it just feels like it's gonna break. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pleasantly surprised with how stable this feels. It's almost like a rocking chair. Yeah. And honestly, yeah, that little pad, it hits right where it needs to. Huh. How do you like the footstool? I thought it was gonna be a gimmick, but I like it. Like, yeah. you're on the trail all day, or you're hiking, you need some circulation, boom. Now my feet are up. They're not just hanging down all night if we stay by the campfire. Holy cow. Yeah, and, and like, you can sit here and you almost have a rocking feeling. Yeah. Like. My other chair cuts into the back of my legs just the way that it's shaped along the bottom. That one doesn't do that. So like, just take your feet out of the footstool and see how it feels to sit. No, it's nice and open. It's almost mm -hmm. like a V. Yeah, so I mean, even if I wasn't in the footstool, now honestly, I don't think I'll ever sit in it without the footstool. Because once you do, yeah, like this just feels so much better. And it's small, it's not like a big bulky item that to pack away. No, it literally, like, my chair is the size of all of these chairs with the footstool. Yeah. So, super light, super easy. It does have storage right here for my phone beer, glass of water, so that we can hide, you know, hydrate after drinking a little bit. So, hmm, I'm a fan. Kilo skier. Well done. So one thing I can't tell you is how it holds up. So we're gonna take these chairs on our 16 week trip, our 16 day trip. Um, we can let you know what we think of them after that, see if they hold up to the wear and tear. But so far, no, the footstool is my favorite part. All right, guys. We couldn't leave you off without seeing how hard this thing is to get back in the original bag that it came in. So, my lovely assistant, Vanna, here is going to break it down. If I can keep my camera straight. I don't know why I'm distracted.
All right, guys, that was our install of the Kilo Skier chairs. That was our first use of the Kilo Skier chairs. So far, I'm super pumped about them. I wasn't really super pumped, but now I am, now that I've actually sit in it. And you, what do you think, Shorty? I like it. Much better than the... Uh, it's much more comfortable than my other chair. Um, yeah. And it takes up about the same footprint. So, yep. check them out. I'll leave the link to the Kilo Skier store in the description below and keep watching because as we do our colorado utah new mexico expedition we'll tell you what i think about this thing after sitting in it for 16 days thanks for watching guys as always what do they need to do babe like subscribe and ring the bell so you'll get notifications when we post more videos